In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do text behind an object using Affinity Photo. If you never used Affinity Photo before, it is very similar to Photoshop, actually looks pretty much the same, uh, except it is a fraction of the price. So let's just jump into the tutorial and show you how simple it is to make this. As you can see, there's only four layers. That's it. So anyone can do this, even if you don't have much experience. So let's just uh, again start from the beginning. I'm going to delete this selections that I had done before. And I'm going to keep the text. I, I, I assume you already know how to add text. So I'm not going to go over that. Here's our text. And we want this text to fall behind this mannequin. So let's start by selecting our picture and we're going to duplicate it. Command J to do that. And we're going to unselect our text because we don't want to see it for now. And we're going to use this uh, selection brush tool to select our mannequin. And to make this bigger to this uh, selection tool bigger, you hit the right bracket key and it makes the size bigger of the brush. You can make it smaller by hitting the left bracket key. So I think this is a good brush size. Let's start selecting our object. And again, this is going to take a while, so just bear with me. All right, so the next thing is I want to refine this selection because as you can see, I selected part of the background and that's not going to look good if I leave it like that. So I'm going to start by zooming in here and instead of adding selection, I'm going to subtract selection. So we want to also make the brush smaller. We're going to refine this just to select our mannequin and not the background. So we're just subtracting. So I'll see you in a little bit because this is going to take a while. I just selected primarily I focus on this part right here because this is where our text will be coming in. As you can see here, I could focus more down here, but it's just a waste of time. If you already know where you want your text, just focus, focus on refining the selection there. So again, let me check this text and we're going to refine the, the selection because right now, if I if I leave it as it is, the lines are pretty jagged. So. Uh, we fix that by increasing the smoothness. So just a little bit. I don't touch the border with the feather or the ramp. So I'm just going to apply this as soon as it's done and apply this. And that just smoothed out the line. So it doesn't look so jagged and that's very important. All right. So now that we have that selected, we hit command J and we're going to basically duplicate the selection. Now we can hit command D to unselect the our selection. And the last thing is we bring in our text, we select it and we bring it behind the selection. And as you can see there, it, we created that effect where the text text sits behind the object. Pretty simple to make. If you have any questions or anything I wasn't clear about, please let me know in the comment section. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I'm making videos like this every week. Also, if you have any suggestions, please go ahead and drop them down below. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.